Checking and identification is more than you think it is. Local law enforcement does what are called compliance checks, such as the Great Falls Police Department conducted compliance checks on 46 establishments. They sent persons who were over the age of 18 but under the age of 21 with their own identifications. Of the 46 establishments, which consisted of on-premise locations as well as off-premise locations, 41 passed and 5 failed. One business didn't ask for ID, while four locations asked for ID and still made the sale after seeing the underage buyer's identification. At this point in time in our classroom education, I will choose one student to give their identification to another student and for that student to check their ID. After they check the ID, they will usually say yes, I would serve this individual. My next question is this, what is the expiration date of that ID? 95% of the time, nobody can tell me the expiration date of the ID, or I like to find a student who will be 21 this year, but is not 21 yet, and 75% of the time, the opposing student will say, yes, I would serve them, and I say, you just served a minor, and they say, how do you figure that? I say, well, they'll be 21 in December. You've got to check an identification closer. This is a 10-point checking ID card. There are 10 things I'm going to ask you to look at on an ID. Now you might be thinking, 10 things on an ID? I don't have time to look at 10 things on an ID. Trust me, you don't have time not to. If you serve a minor in this day, the ramifications, both civil and legal, can be huge. Number one, you want to look at the expiration date. If an ID is expired, it is not valid. Number two, their photograph. You want to hold the ID in your hand. When you look at the photo, you look straight across. Remember, it's much easier to look at somebody straight across this way than it is up and down, because the way somebody's eyes are will never, ever, ever change. Number three, the year of birth. Number four, the day of birth. Number five, the month of birth. Number six, does the age match up? Is the individual or you're questioning if they are 21 years of age or older, hand you an ID saying they are 27 years of age or older, you might ask for another piece of identification. Number seven, look at their height. Number eight, their weight. Number nine, their gender, male or female. Just trust me. Number 10, the state seal. Look for blurred images, something drawn on there. Is it the correct state seal? A partial state seal. I remember one time looking at a young man's ID and I realized the state seal was a hologram that said an official seal of authenticity. Very clever.